Hold on, family. Shit, I'm trying to work out some new shit right now. Can y'all see me, family? You came out in front when I was hiding. Okay, family. Hey, today is... Uh, shit. Tuesday, I want to say the 8th. It's about 8.39 in the a.m. I just took the kids to school a little bit ago. I had to take short story, so I don't know if motherfuckers really got time for what I'm on this morning. If you don't, then I'm just going to say right now, watch somebody else's shit because this is getting ready to be a long motherfucking video. I'm going to go on a whole gang of shit, so I don't know what time you got time, how much time you got. Uh, I'm just going with it, okay? All right, there it is. I had to take Isaiah to school because he missed his bus. Tioni had testing today, so she had to be she had to be at school at 7:20, I think. And then Isaiah I think his school starts at 7:57. It's a it's some numbers right before 8 o'clock instead of them just saying fucking 8 o'clock. They said, nah, we finna give it an odd number. I think it's like seven, it's either 755 or 757. Something like that is when Isaiah's um, class, uh, first period, go in. But he catches the bus. He goes to a magnet. Uh, yeah. You know what? Look, check this out. First of all, let me say this. I am over here in the State of Brothers Shopping Center. I just pulled over, and um, so shit is moving all around me right now. I'm trying to get over here to McDonald's, but the line was long. I'm just trying to get a sweet tea and an ice cream cone, but fuck it. I ain't finna do that line right there for that, and then I don't want to get out of the car because I ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no bra on, nothing. Just got this on, so everything going to do everything. So I'm just sitting up here like, damn, I want an ice cream cone, can't get out the car, the line long, so fuck it, I'm going to sit across the street, and I'm just going to watch some shit, talk on the phone or whatever have you, put one in the air, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting up here trying to get me an ice cream cone, shit. Can't get me no cone yet, because the line is crazy, so, and the shit is wrapped around, because see, actually, McDonald's is, um giving away coffee and shit. I don't know if y'all niggas know it, but I know in my city, McDonald's is giving up coffee up until, I think, the 13th or something. So you can go and go get, just go and grab your free cup of coffee. Now, you got to go during breakfast hours, though. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through breakfast hours, but yeah, they got a little breakfast. Wait a minute, first of all, hold on, because I got this nigga in my ear. Okay, shout out to my motherfucking uh, Joe Day in my motherfucking ear. Now, for those of you guys that don't know who Joe Day is, Beauty by Joe Day. Now, she once had another channel, okay? So, she got a different channel now. Okay, a little background for the new motherfuckers that don't know. Okay, because see, it's going to be somebody, nigga, you know it's going to be somebody going to ask a motherfucking question and shit. So, can I, can, can I go on and defuse the shit, my nigga? Can I take it? Okay, I got it then. Okay. Joe Day, I met her many years ago. I met her at a casting call for Monique's Fat Chance, believe it or not. Okay. We were at the casting call and we both got picked for the show. And uh, that's where I met her at. And so we were in the same group. Nigga, I hear you, nigga. Yeah, nigga, this nigga, we in the same. They can't even hear you, motherfucker. Damn, this nigga all in my... We was in the same group. Nigga, I know. This, this nigga in my ear just trying to tell me all this whole type of shit. Excuse me. Because this is the way me and this nigga talk. It's no... It's not... Don't take it personally. Okay? Don't take it personal. This is just the way we convey with one another. It's all love, baby. This is my partner. This is my... Nigga, this is this right here. Nigga, I'm the... Nigga, I'm, nigga, I'm the Bronco driver, nigga. Fuck it. I'm the Bronco driver, nigga. Get in the back. I got this. Nigga, we going down Zapovita. Nigga, we on the 405. Nigga, what? Uh, nigga, helicopters going, nigga. But uh, I got this, nigga. See it, nigga. Fuck that. Like when, um, remember when, uh, what's old boy? 
T.I. and what you call it and shit. And they got caught up in uh, Hollywood with the motherfucking surf and shit in the car. Nigga, it's like, nigga, you gonna drink your half and I'm gonna drink my half. Nigga, the police is coming. Nigga, the light. Look at the light on us, nigga. Drink your shit. I'm gonna drink my shit, nigga. Hey. Nigga, the bowel movement gonna be cold-blooded. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? This is my partner. So, anyway. But I met her at this casting call. Okay. Met her at this casting call. And we just clicked. You know what I'm saying? We just clicked. And that was, nigga, what year was that? Now you can interject. Now, was that 2001 or two? Two thousand one or something, or something like that. Okay, and so since then we just clicked and see. So see, she, you know, but see, she's one of them, you know. Yeah, this nigga's part of the cut crease committee. You know what I'm saying? This is one of them makeup motherfuckers. So see, I don't speak that language, but when I got a few questions, she's who I go to. You know what I mean? Cause I don't know it. So. That's what she do. So she kind of branched off because she was doing a little modeling thing. You know what I'm saying? While she was in L.A., nigga was still moonlight. You know what I'm saying? Putting a little foundation every now and again. But then she was also doing her little modeling thing. You know, plus size, get out. Very beautiful sister. And so, you know, we kind of parted ways a little bit. But we were still, she was still calling me up like, you know, hey, what's going on? Because I'm a little bit older and shit. So, you know, she, back in the day, I was for that bitch up on game, bitch. I'm a nigga. Oh, uh oh, oh. You there, nigga? Hold on. Nigga, I was like, uh, hold on, family. Y'all see I'm dropping shit up. Oh, excuse me. Um, so, this nigga called me up, y'all. I was in Vegas. And this was in, I want to say this was like 05. And I hadn't heard from Jody in a minute, right? She called me up out of the blue and shit. Nigga, I'm all down here with all Jules Santana and all these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I was at the Magic Show in Vegas, okay? That was the year of the Desert Storm, mind you. We was partying so tough. We had no, I mean, not the year of Desert Storm. I'm bullshit. This is nigga, uh, Katrina, Hurricane Katrina, okay? Now, the, 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 so whatever year that was, this is when, I know my mama was living, so this was, because mama passed in 07, this was 05, somewhere around them parts, I don't remember, but I just remember this motherfucker here calling me on the phone, nigga, so it's a true story. This motherfucker called me up on the phone, I'm at the magic show, that's what they call it, in Vegas every year, every six months, they have is what is called the magic show, it ain't got shit to do with tricks, okay? But it's, you know, makeup, makeup motherfuckers and motherfuckers that's doing all this, nigga. You need a blazer with that. It would be sharp. It would be fire. Them motherfuckers, yeah, it's um, uh, clothing stylists and makeup and all that shit. And they get together and they have this show together. They call this shit the magic show. I don't know. I don't understand. However, at that time, I was working on a little campaign, you know, doing some apple bottom, you know, things. And Melissa... Ford and it was so many different people and we were just there and we you know how like they get girls together to model different things you know model different um uh baby fat was hot right then and then um what's her name Eve with the nose that was no bridge on that motherfucker ass. yeah Eve she had her she what was it called nigga yeah fetish and all these different motherfuckers that had clothing lines at that time and they, we was all partying together we was all in vegas on this weekend nigga let me cut this shit down because that shit said this christmas any motherfucking way um shout out to donnie hathaway nigga rest in peace my nigga hold on let me put something else on because i'm listening to donnie hathaway and i was just in that mode right now i know y'all motherfuckers like nigga this motherfucker is high as fuck nigga is it christmas and this mother yeah i had it was just it was just part of the queue i'm listening and you know donnie anyway so i'm at the magic show and so i matter of fact matter of fact okay where they had a magic show is right over there by unlv Okay, and 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 in the big um, what is the convention center and stuff, and it's like right like back off off of the strip, nigga. I'm sitting up here, and mind you, okay, I'm and I'm, it was me. I want to I don't want to name drop because it ain't the right thing to do. But all I'm gonna say is she's in hip hop, and this bitch was on my fucking bumper, okay, and I'll be goddamn. 
if Jody didn't call me on the phone. And I'm like, you know, just finished conversating with this chick, you know what I'm saying? And see, at that time, you know, I was doing a lot of different things. And I was on some old, what do you want to call it? Because I'm trying to keep it clean. You know, I was having fun. I was young and I was having fun. Just like the rest of these young ladies out here. Just Drea and all. Just out here just having fun, okay? And you meet all kind of different guys that do all kinds of different things from athletes to musicians. And when you're cute, you got a nice little figure. And, you know, it's just nothing that a man just would not do for you. And you don't have to sleep with them. Let me make that crystal clear that you don't have to sleep for them with them when you just I guess you say got it, whatever that it is, okay? The, the nigga you said it. She said the it factor. Some chicks just have just a it factor about them and it's like and it doesn't mean that, you know, this person got a one up on another. It's just something about some girls that they just have that certain thing about them, okay? And um, when I was younger, now I'm 42 years old. Nigga, I'm on some old, nigga, let me put this motherfucking wall up back here. I'm on some other shit now, okay? I'm older, you know, I done slowed down. I'm just trying to, you know, take care of my little piece of the rock that I have built for me. And I'm trying to put my money in my home and build some equity and trying to be a better person and live a better life but then there was a time in my life that you know shit was just moving i mean moving and and, and i you know could have gotten caught up in all kinds of shit drugs um all kinds of stuff because i was already involved in in, in promiscuity um i was no hoe you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I had men that I, that, that you know, that I was dating. That I thought that I was dating. Uh, you know, um, that I assumed that, you know, we really had something. But this nigga was like, you know what, I'm going to leave my wife. But the documents never showed up. Auntie has been there, okay? And so, when I'm talking to you guys about different shit, I'm talking about shit that I, nigga, that I done walked through all them lands right there. I ain't just sitting up here just blowing it out of my ass. I'm really putting you up on game on how shit really pop off in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? And so, there was a time when, yes, I was back then. I was out there doing the utmost, but I wasn't out there hooking. Um, I've never sold no pussy. Let's make that shit crystal motherfucking clear. Because last I checked, bitches that, bitches that sell pussy, I don't, it's some of them now. Unless you on some Jada Fire, my motherfucking partner named Carmen. If you're on that kind of shit right there, cat and all them, then therefore, then, you know, you're a little bit different. Cherokee and all them, them, them bitches is on a different get down. But if you just renting a, renting a motherfucking room at $5 every 15 minutes, bitch, um, I'm gonna ask that you you sit the fuck down. That is just giving away fucking pussy. That's all that is. Just say, I just like dick. Okay? So now, I ain't never been on none of that. Okay? Now, I know motherfuckers probably be like, but damn, this bitch, how this bitch just end up with some shit? This bitch ain't, did this, did this nigga clock in at what time? Don't worry about that. Okay? Nigga, I hear you. Okay. I hear you, nigga. Okay, calm down. Okay. So, but, so when I'm talking to you guys, I'm really talking to you guys about some shit that I done been through or whatever have you. But anyway, needless to say, that particular day, it was a whole lot going on that day. Jody called me out the blue. I was straight getting spooled and wooed by this bitch. You know, and this bitch was like telling me the business like, bitch, shit, you ain't never uh had nobody put they whoop the whoop on that right here. Like, whoop the boop, boop. Yeah. And I'm like, shit, bitch, for real? You know, I was like, nigga, I was frightened, nigga. I was like, oh, my God, nigga. Oh, my God, my name is going to be in a motherfucking this right here. I said, oh, shit, I was worried. I was like, because this bitch came hard to paint. I was like, damn. You know, and and then I I saw her again at the, the BET, um, after the BET Awards when, uh, let's see. <sighs> Let me go back because I'm going to start saying some things. Anyway. Either way, that day, I talked to Jody that day, okay? Jody called me that day. I was sitting up talking to this bitch that day. And then um, I had went out. Russell Simmons had gave a party that night. Uh, uh, and so, and he was saying that, you know, 
Um, he had came to Chris. One thing about in Vegas, there's no clocks. You will never find a clock in Vegas. I'm going to ask that you look for one. When you go to Vegas... And you're in the casinos, you will never see clocks. Clocks are nowhere. And then, you know, the oxygen level is so high in the casinos to where you, you like in this, I don't know, it's almost a euphoria. Because you're hearing all that, ding, 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 motherfuckers hollering and shit, and motherfuckers, oh, shit, and all that shit, nigga, you be fucked up in the casino in Vegas, okay? Let me just go and say that right now, nigga, fuck around, rent money be gone, motherfucker be like, oh, shit, I can't get home. Yeah, it's all kind of shit put, but bumped off in Vegas. And so, but, um, you know, we was partying and we was at this party and I remember Russell Simmons coming to the mic and so he was saying that, you know, we need to pray and, you know, we, you know, he was, you know, you know, cause he had some other shit, some old, you know what I'm saying, some other shit, let me sit in the corner with my leg crossed type shit. So, you know, we was really tripping cause it was like, he was like really saying, you know, some other shit to us on the mic. So we was like, nigga, this Russ nigga? So we tripping. We didn't know that the niggas was down there in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying, was going through. We didn't know. So all of that, all of that shit happened that same day. Jody called me. This bitch right here wanted to suck on something. Then, then uh, Russ come to the mic. He telling us that we all need to come together and all this whole type of shit. I said, oh, shit. Nigga, before I got home, Kanye said it all because Bush don't like white people. I said, black people. I said, God damn. All this shit happened to say. I said, oh, shit, nigga. Something's going to happen. The IRS going to get everybody. I said, oh, shit. All this shit happened the same time. You hear me? The same motherfucking time because all of that was the weekend because, you know, they had a little March of Dime, little, you know, Jerry, what is it, the Jerry, uh, oh boy, what is that, Jerry Lewis get down, and that's when Kanye West, and that was all the same weekend, Kanye West gonna come on the motherfucker, and after that, I said, oh shit, it's gonna go all bad, this nigga's gonna fuck it all up, we need to get potted meat, you know what I'm saying, because Kanye West just bust up and said, uh, because Bush don't, I said, nigga, was that shit crazy? This weekend was crazy. So, I say that to say me and this nigga go way back. However, you know, uh, so, throughout the course of all these things, we done been through all kinds of shit. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker, you know, this motherfucker all down there in L.A., you know what I'm saying, beating up motherfuckers and shit. And I'm like, nigga, what's going on? Oh, nigga, I'm downtown. Nigga, what, what's going on? Oh, yeah, so me and this nigga done been through just some about everything. Now, now let me just go on and say she looked like she won't probably fuck with nobody, but this nigga would just palm a bitch. I'm like, nigga, what is you, nigga, what is you doing? What's going on? This bitch just thought I was fucked up that day. I said, oh my god. So yeah, me and this bitch go way back, and then. So, one time, she was also working on... So, we begin to branch off. I would start doing shit with Monique on my side with, you know, with the Parkers and then with the, you know, BET um, uh, dance, B Beyonce, all of that. She's doing the makeup and then she goes over there, Monique's Fat Chance, and did some stuff over there. And it was like, so we've always been intertwined somehow and other... You know, and it was just crazy. So, you know, you know, one thing, I know y'all looking like, bitch, what happened to your fingers? Shit, I was trying to do some shit and got fucked up. I know y'all like, bitch, take that shit off your motherfucking hand, nigga. I know it's on that wrong and shit, but it, hey, I bet my blood coagulated, goddammit. It ain't bleed no motherfucking more, because that's Kool-Aid right there. Nigga, yeah, that, they, yeah, that's some... Yeah, that's just some Kool-Aid part right there that you see, nigga. Punch concentrate. I was making some juice for the kids. That's what that is, yeah. Shut up, Jody. Jody, yeah, excuse me, y'all. Oh, shit, shout out to Indica, nigga. Indica, nigga, it's just a blessing, nigga. Shit, excuse me. I think I'm trying to calm down. Whew, shit. <coughs> so, anyway...